A busy Monday will kick off a busy week at the DCI headquarters along Kiambu Road in Nairobi on Monday. 40 men and women, among them top NYS bosses, are expected to record their statements with a team of detectives led by their boss, George Kinoti. Principal Secretary Lilian Omolo and NYS Director Richard Nubai will be among officials to be grilled by detectives on Monday. The sweep by detectives, however, goes from top to bottom. Handlers of IFMIS user codes, accountants, procurement and finance officials and storemen form the bulk of men and women who will face the Kinoti led team. Detectives are making progress as investigations enter crucial stages. They claim the road at the institution seems to be systematic and runs across. The director of public prosecutions told NTV on Wednesday that President Uhuru Kenyatta had asked the team to carry out their mandate decisively and extensively. This is a test case for all of us. I think most of us, uh, I mean the DCI and myself, are new. Uh, and therefore we are very keen to ensure that the investigations are done uh, you know, to the satisfaction. NTV has learned that President Uhuru Kenyatta has given precise directives for detectives to be given space to conduct investigations without interference. The head of state further asked PS Lilian Omolo and NYS Director Richard Dubai to step aside. After a meeting at State House, President Kenyatta directed the CS in charge, Professor Margaret Kobia, to act and break the current food chain at the NYS, even as investigations continue to shape up. The CS has since sent senior officials at the institution on compulsory leave. Detectives have established that problems that bedevil NYS are engraved in the procurement, finance, accounting departments and the store and those charged with sealing loopholes failed to remove corruption facilitators at the low level. According to the Sunday Nation, some of the companies that are under investigation over the possible loss of 9 billion shillings at the National Youth Service have had previous controversial dealings with the institution and have no internet footprints. While they deal in hundreds of millions of shillings, only one of the companies under investigation has a website but still, it does not list its management. According to the DPP, the back stops with the accounting officers in charge at the time millions were siphoned from the NYS. Very well, very well. The appointment of Cecily Kariuki as CS for Public Service, Gender and Youth Affairs and that of Lilian Omolo as her PS brought hope in the NYS. The appointing authority, President Kenyatta, had given them a broom to ensure the NY's house was clean. But the two, according to investigators, slept on the job and left looters once again roam the corridors of a service whose budget had been pumped with even more money running into billions of shillings. Corrupt government officers once again found NYS to be their paradise even after the oyster of their alleged grandmaster. Enoxicolia and TV.